Hey everybody, Wandering Kid here. Welcome back to my Subnautica playthrough. I'm currently visiting the Northeastern Mushroom Forest Caves. We found some uraninite, we found some rubies, and we found some other bits and pieces. All the way down here will be our thermal vent that we found. We're, we've got food and water on, as supplies, so we're not in any bad shape. Other than the fact that we're lost. Alright, well, we're not completely lost. But, I did want to check this place out, because I'd never been here before. I want to see what's, what all is down here. I'm just kind of taking a poke around. Whoops. It's very kaboomy. Okay, there's some ruby down here. I don't know if I want to actually bother popping out for it. So down there, we'll head down here. We've got some uh, cooked fish. I'm not even going to go near that. You can insta die down there uh, without your gear on. So let's get back out of the thermal vent. It's kind of cool that it's down here. 68 degrees Celsius. A little cooler up this way. So we need to pick a direction to go in. We come up. There's Life Pod 12. I was thinking about heading towards, seeing if I could find, a, find us our way into that. Uh, where are we? Up here. That's where we came in at. Okay, there's my reference point. So let's head down. And where's 12? Is that 12? Okay, so there's 12. Slip on my sonar. Looks like there's a way through out here. Let's see what we can see. So that's a pretty massive cave system. I see lots of basically uh, ant tunnels going in and out. Not quite sure which way to go on that. Let's see where am I? Okay, so just using my reference point of 12, looks like, is that a uh, driving tunnel out of here? Uh, looks like I'm in a dead end. No, it's a dead end, that's no joy. Um, why can't I see my lights? There we go. Okay, that was no joy. Let's try another one. Uh, maybe over here. There we go. Deep water. We found our way out. So where are we? We're next to a big bulb. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, there is the thermal vent right over here. That's a good another reference point. So we've got a big bulb. And this thermal here as a reference point. And from there, you can follow the, t the sonar in. And you can find the other way into that particular cave system. Cool. And if we climb up, I have a feeling we're near a wreck. You know what, let me turn this off because it's just a lot of visual noise. What do we have out here? Okay, there's the wreck over there. That's the wreck that's um, draining water out of it. That's this one over here where it's... Don't ask me why a thing is full of water in water, but okay, and it's falling water. But then we've got our big uh, bull bush over here. And then we've got a cave that jumps in here underneath this archway. Okay, so we found one of the things that I definitely wanted to locate. This little guy. He's going to be put back at home until I've got use for him. So, back to base. All right, so we've made it home. I've stored my little creature egg out here. So next batter up is we're going to head out to the Seamoth Bay, and we're going to see if we can't find any more wrecks to the east of the Bulb Zone. And then we're going to go check out 
the mountain biome. So we've come back to the bulb zone, and just as a conversation while we wander, there's not a lot else to the bulb zone besides what we've already found. There are some more caves down here that we're not going to go visit because, well, sanity. However, I do want to see if we can't find some more crashes. So I'm just going to sit here and poke around a bit and see what we can find out here. Well, there's a wreck. Hello. All right, so we found our wreck out here. I wonder if I can see from wreck to wreck up here. No, not really. But if I flip my beacon manager back on, because we were, had 12, where'd he go? So there's 12. There he is. He's about 215 meters due west. Okay. So let's see if we can figure out a way into this puppy. Oh, I see a door. I also see an ampule. Hi. Please don't eat me. Oh, looks like I've got to go get some more power on the habitat, but we'll come back to that. If I had to guess, that's going to be my scanner one over on the mushroom area. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, we got this door. There's a bulkhead. We'll crack that open. Eventually. There we go. Uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, we'll pick this up, whatever that was. Oh, a ch chic plant pot. Uh, stasis rifle fragment. Uh, we already opened up the water distiller. I just don't haven't built one yet. Let's see what's through here. Oh, there's another doorway out. Okay. What do we have out here? Anything interesting? So I have the desperate need for light. Uh, scanner room fragment. Um, ooh, what do we got up here? Oh, I got plenty of O2. We'll head through here. Hmm, ooh, a data box. Hello, still suit. Nice to meet you. So we found a sound a blueprint for the still suit way out here. See anything else worth grabbing? Power transmitter. Oh, a lightsaber fragment. I haven't finished that off yet. Let's see anybody else in here? And I still have that one door with the laser cutter to go through. Um, all right, I've got these. I've got these. Well, that was still a nice find. Finding that still suit will be helpful long term. Alright, let's head back, get some air, grab my laser cutter. Uh, where did I leave? <laughs> where did we leave the car? There it is. Yep, he is grouchy, and my Seamoth is kind of banged up. We're going to get away from Chuckles over here. Get some repairs in. Yeah, that was hurting pretty good. All right, now close that. Let's put my laser cutter on. So I've got some water while I'm here. Let's go find where those doors I were opening were over here. Okay. Okay, I gotta crack this door, guys. All right, there we go. Let's see what's in here. Uh, a whole lot of... not much. Seriously? Empty carry-all. Wow, there was like, nothing in here. So, what, this was all just find a still suit? There's gotta be a way to go. Having to crack that door open mean, typically means you've got to go somewhere. 
Uh huh. I got a whole lot of nothing going on in here. Nothing down there. Nothing in here. Not even a PDA to grab, huh? That's unusual. Huh. Okay. Begin, obviously. All right. Well, okay. Huh. There's nothing else to grab. I'm going to take a poke around out here, see if there's anything worth grabbing. Oh, I see another data box. What do we got in here? Alien containment. Oh, yeah. Now I can have trishies. Cool. All right. That's an ampule egg. All right. I think that pretty much will cover everything at this point. I don't see much else to do. Ah, freaking mesmers. Go away. All right. Let's hop onto the Seamoth. We're pretty much done with Life Pod 12. However, I do want to go check, uh, go show you guys a couple of things. First batter is let's go to the end of the world. So we're going to go due east. Welcome to the Crater's Edge. Way out here is badness. So you can see that basically the world ends out here. Big old cliff. Now, if you actually head out into here, you end up meeting ghost leviathans. They can be large and cranky. All right, oh, we got some food and stuff. Let's see if I can't go uh, annoy a ghost leviathan. Come on out. Welcome to the end of the world. As you can see, there's basically a giant cliff out there. Once you get out here, once you hear that, you are in the bad places. I'm trying to see if I can, there's one, there's a ghost leviathan. See if I can dodge him. Oof, okay. And what happens is, is one spawns up every 30 seconds until you start dealing with three of them. Eventually, you can actually run through juvenile ones, but you really don't want to play with the big guys too much. So, there's the end of the world. There's the Crater's Edge. Now, out here, we're still in Bulb Zone territory. I'm going to head us towards the mountains by heading north-northwest-ish. So, out here in the mountains that we're heading to, there's a couple of things out here that can be useful. You can find some magnetite, you can find some lithium, some lead. So, basically, what you're used to finding. I'm going to get past these bulbs. Um, the depth of it can go pretty deep. We already found that one uh, vent zone. What was down there? Let's see what this is. This looks like a giant cave. Oh, hello. Okay, so what we found here is an entrance that brings us to the Lost River. We're not anywhere near wanting to go to the Lost River yet, but marking it helps. So if you're trying to figure out where we are, where's 12? 12 is your best focal. So over here, about 400 meters due south of Life Pod 12, you'll find this giant tunnel. So I'm going to head out. I'm going to drop off a beacon. Just kick this out over here. This is nice to locate early. There's another way in that's a lot more obvious to find, but since we're all out here anyway, um, mountains. River entrance. Entry? Uh, enter. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so we know it's out here. We'll come back to it. 
That's uh, much further along than I want to be right now because I want to explore all the different biomes and stuff as we come through. So we're going to head out of here. There's my biome. Okay. We're going to pop out. And be careful if you go down there. You've got to be down, under, be able to get underneath 700 meters down there. What's down? What's that down there? I think that's a plant. Yeah, that's a violet bow. Okay. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you, shark face. All right, so let's head back up. So as we were aiming for, welcome to the mountains. If you can ever get past the bulbs. There we go. Hello, mountains. How are you? So there's some um, volcanic vents and stuff like that over here. So there's that. If I remember right, we should be nearby the alien vent, but I think we might be too far east. Yeah, okay. So over there, that's the base. Okay, so there's our mushroom vent and our little base over there, about 720 meters to the south by southwest. So we head out this way and see what we can find. I found a wreck. All right, let's check this wreck out. All right, here's a piece we haven't seen before, a prawn suit grappling arm fragment. Until we build the prawn suit, it won't matter that we have this. But we already have the prawn suit because we went through the, uh, Aurora a while back, so we can build one, we just haven't bothered yet. Mostly because there's a couple of parts that I'm still looking for. One in particular, ooh, nuclear reactor. One in particular is the drill arm. I find that to be the most useful component for the prawn suit. Alright, so that was one of three for our nuclear reactors. Let's see what else we've got out here. Now, just so you know, nuclear reactors are kind of typically overkill. If you need a nuclear reactor, you're doing something very different. Okay, so let's see what we've got around the ship. I've got a laser cutter door here. Okay, so it looks like there's just that one doorway over there. We'll head over to that. All right, we're in. Let's see what we can find. Not looking very strong. Oh, looks like I've got a data terminal over here. What's in that? Classified cargo. That sounds like it's got possibilities. What's this over here? Uh, prawn suit fragment. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of ways in. Hmm. Okay, so there's this hole of the door here. Prawn suit propulsion arm fragment. Okay. That's one of two. Uh, let's see. Oh, a quilted double bed. I can sleep in style. Oh, and a torpedo arm fragment. And it looks like I got a data box right next door there. Let's see what's in that. Cyclops thermal reactor module, nice. That lets you recharge your Cyclops when you get, get near enough heat. It's a very handy thing. Feeling like there should be more to this ship, like a lot more. Let's see what we got. Um, it's 105. That's a prawn suit fragment. All right, I'm gonna go snag some air. Be right back. See so what we can see. Okay, so, oh, wait, wait, what do we have over here? 
We have a hallway. Okay, cool. Um, let's not get completely lost. You know what? I'm going to grab this thing just to make it stop showing up. All right, so in here, down, around. Oh, this looks like it goes to the other half of the ship. Okay, that's a dead end. I might want to grab my marker. What am I running into? That's, oh, that's not good. Something's glitched. Okay, well, let's hope I don't get completely banged up in here. Placement prawn suit propulsion cannon fragment. Nothing down here. What we have over here? Uh, another piece. Prawn suit fragment. We'll just get that out of the way. I'm just cleaning up stuff so I can see what's going on in here. Got to be careful in my O2, especially after I saw that glitch. I don't know what's going on with that, but. That looks unhealthy for me long term. Hmm. Torpedo arm fragment. Okay, that gets that done. Not seeing too much else down here. Let's see what we got. Another arm fragment. Uh, that's the way out. Hope to find a PDA or something. We only found that one. Okay, that door is closed. I don't see any vent systems or anything like that over here. That one's locked up. Air is at 90. I'm starting to get a little nervy. Um, is there anything down in this corner? Not that I can see. Okay, so a bunch of uh, prawn arm shoot components. Okay, now can I get around this? This is where I got jammed up from this glitching. Backwards seemed to work before. Okay. So it looks like I can go backwards through these glitches. Very unique. Oh man, I am glitching hard. Come on. Okay, that's, this is not healthy. Especially with my O2. Come on. Nice glitch. Beautiful. Come on. Get through. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Can't seem to back through or clear through. How about this? No, nope, that's not working far either. Okay. You know, I'm getting bounced by it. I can't get to O2. Okay, well, I'm gonna save this game. And I'm gonna quit and reload it and see if that helps. Okay, we're in here. I'm hoping I'm going the right direction. Where's my... I don't know where I am. Okay, I'm in the wrong entry. I gotta go down this way. Gotta get over here. I'm still glitching. I'm still glitched out. Gosh darn it. Well, at least if I lose this stuff, it doesn't matter. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna crash the game and try again. All right, where are we? Let's see if we can get through it this time. Okay, nope, I've permanently glitched. I can't even crash the game to get through it. Okay, so this is called Rec 5. If anybody's interested, it's apparently going to be a problem. I should get all of my research that I've gotten out, but I'm gonna lose all of my material. Don't come to Rec 5 if you're on Hardcore. Now I'm going to go grab a game save and figure out what I can find for these guys. I want to give them some feedback. All right. Memos posted, zip file sent. One more try to get through this. See if I can't squeak in. I'm going to get a whole lot of nope, I think. Can't back my way in. Yeah, all right. We're going to die. Hello, Glitch. How are you? And done. Well, that's aggravating. Let's put that away. Okay, well, I still got my gear and some nutrient blocks, so I guess that's plus one. Where's my ride home? <laughs> okay, so the Busy Bee is 
over 1,500 meters that way, or over 4, 1,400 meters that way. Oh, we're going for a swim. See you guys when I get back to the bee. All right, so that was a bit of a trip, but we're back. Why, oh, thank you. Out of curiosity, we're going to stick our heads in here. I'm going to see if I see that glitch again from the other side. Yep, I'm a glutton for punishment. What can I tell you? I come in here. Well, there's all my titanium. Found all my stuff. Okay. Food cubes, etc., etc. And now it's not broken. Okay, how very strange. All right, well, whatever. That is what it is. Now, if I remember right, there should be one more thing down here. I haven't seen too much, but we're going to pick a poke. Uh, composite plant pot. We'll snag that. Uh, don't see any other way in. We've gone through the fork to get over here. And okay, I think we're pretty much done with this area. Um, yep, we already snagged that. There was nothing there. Uh, we'll grab some goods and materials. All right. Let's get out of here if I remember how. <laughs> how did I get in here? Where's the door? There's the one. Okay, it's over here. All right. Now, there might be some stuff kicking around out here, but it's probably not worth really digging around too much for. Hello, Biter. So there's one more wreck I want to hit before we leave the mountains. Okay, found it. Not easy to locate. I thought it was a lot closer. Okay. So, here's a wreck. There's a warper kicking around, being annoying over here. Looks like there's another tunnel system down under here. Let's check this out for a second. What we got down here? This looks like it's got some rubies and some places to go wander through. Turn on the lights. Okay, so this is the one of the mountain cave systems. Uh, I'm not going to explore this with you guys. It can be deep. It's pretty involved, but there's lots of good stuff like rubies and stuff like that down in here. If you really want to get into it, check it out. Now, as a reference point, we're going to go find that wreck. Well, actually, as a point of reference, you got a couple of them. There's the Aurora. You're out near the bow of the ship. And we're basically due south from the bow. Okay, so now we're down here. If we take a look at Life Pod 12, which we've been using as our reference point, 770 meters roughly, also due south. And where we put that Lost River entrance is about 450 meters due south. So we're gonna check this area out. And see what we got out here. Now you can hear that uh, warper kicking around. Where is he? I may want to grab my stasis gun to put him on hold for a moment. Uh, which of you wandered off? Okay. That's what we got out here. Oh, there's the warper. So there's our warper. I'm going to try and scan him. I'll get a good look at him. As you can see, he will smack you if you get close enough. And I'm trying to see if he'll fire off a warping at me. No, nope, he's just gonna chase me, huh? Okay, he wandered off. But yeah, these are the warps. They'll try and warp you around. No big deal. They don't hurt too badly. I wonder if I still have any fish in there. Uh, nope, but I do have nutrient blocks, so we'll just chop on some of that. All right, and we'll grab some air since I was just playing with the warper. Thank you. Now, what else do we have down here? Oh, we found a data box. 
Decoy tubes. All right, sweet. That's an upgrade. Usually you start with one. If you plug in the upgrade, you get to five of them. They can be handy eventually. I'm trying to see if I can find the way into the ship while I wander around its outside too. There's a lot of fish in my way over here. Maybe it's over here. Maybe I can't see through the fishy. Ah! Let's see what else we got in here. Doesn't look like too much. A little uh, corridor over this way. And grab some more stuff. I don't see much. Uh, what do we got in there? Uh, nothing big. Uh, what's that? Nothing scannable. Looks like I got a laser cutter door over here. We're going to crack that open, then go get air. All right, so we crack this door open. What's in here? Not a heck of a lot. Like, a whole lot of nothing is in here. What the heck? There is nothing in here of interest. I can pick up a peeper. I don't care about the peeper. <laughs> Seriously? All of that to go through a door that doesn't do anything? Oh, bother. It's almost like PDAs or something are missing out here. Well, there's a whole lot of nothing going on in there. Oh, there's a data box right here. Cyclops docking bays. That helps. Well, that's great, but I didn't need to cut the door open to do that. All right, well, whatever. It is what it is. I think it's time to go. All right, so there's not a heck of a lot going on in here. Sheesh. Noisy, aren't you? All right. And I thought there would be one more out here. It's possible it's not, but I thought there was one more. I'm going to wander along here for a moment, see what I can see. What's this? A ah, nuclear reactor fragment. So there's some other bits and pieces off the wreck. Looks like there's another uh, way into the cave system down here. Well, as long as I'm here, I'll grab some rubies. Freaking herd of those piranha. I'm out of here. All right, let's get away from that. And let's just see if there's anything else kicking around out here near this wreck. I don't think there's too much, but we're going to take a poke. Yeah, I don't see too much else going on. So, that's our last wreck out here at the mountains. Um, at some point, we actually come back to the mountain island, so that's why I'm skipping it for now. So, for the moment, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head towards the base. We're going to drop off all our... Whoop. Pardon me, Mr. Reaper. I don't want to play with you. And, okay, he's just going to grab me. Hi. Ow. I think I'll swim away now. Just anywhere I can get away from him. Sounds like a plan. We'll kill the lights. Maybe he'll stop being so, uh, interested in chewing me. No. I just lost my Seamoth. Actually, I just got eaten by the Reaper. Ouch. Okay, so, um, that's what a Reaper attack looks like. <laughs> uh, th that's how you lose your Seamoth and why you tend to not overbuild your Seamoths until you actually need them that way. Well, whoops. That's okay, I got all the research done I wanted to get done out there, so that's really why I was out here. Uh, but yeah, our Seamoth is now gone. So, on a last note, here's a quick way to get out of your... Oh, let's try that again. Here's a quick way to get out of your moon pool. Okay, what, did they stop that from being able to happen? Usually, if you've got enough speed, you can 
jump yourself all the way up into the moon pool. Like so. There we go. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> whoops. These things happen? Uh, <laughs> what do I got in here? Uh, I got some food and stuff like that. All right, we're going to put some lunch away and things like that. So I'm going to have to go rebuild my Seamoth, and we're going to go take care of some of that stuff. Sheesh. But we found all those wrecks, and I found a lot of uh, good stuff for our blueprints. So our trips to all of those wrecks got me a reactor rod for, um, what do you call it? The radiation suit. No, uh, nuclear reactor. I got my still suit. This basically gives you water back from your body. It's right from Dune, guys. Light stick, think of it like a portable uh, flare that you can stick down and use. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We got uh, parts for the prawn suit, the propulsion cannon, the torpedo arm, and the grappling arm. We did not find the drill. That's the last piece that we were looking for that. Down here in our side class upgrades, we've got a docking bay for repairs and a decoy tube. We also found the thermal reactor mod module at some point. Uh, we found the nuclear reactor in alien containment, which will allow me to uh, breed fish on the alien containment. And down here, looks like we found some just uh, plants and furniture stuff. So there we go. A decent run. I think this is a great place to stop this episode after getting eaten by a reaper. I'll go rebuild some of my now missing equipment and we'll figure it out from there. So as always, guys, please leave a like or a comment if you're enjoying this series. They certainly help out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.